everyone, welcome to Ascent Kids. My name is Katie and we are so excited that you're joining us here today. Um, I'm getting ready for a big ski weekend and I really want Chris to come with me. So let's go and ask him, see what he's up to. Hey Chris. Oh, hey Katie, what's going on? What you doing? Uh, you know, I got kind of a big sweater and I thought maybe I could, okay. maybe I could get a little traction. But yeah, yeah. I'm not really having too much work. Sledding's really fun, but you know what is also fun is skiing. Have you ever gone skiing before? Uh, to be honest with you, no. I, you know, I kind of just stick to the sledding. It's it's pretty easy. You just you just hold the rope and you know don't fall out. Okay. It's pretty simple. Skiing kind of feels like it's a little complex. I'm a little honestly, I'm pretty intimidated to do it. Uh, yeah. So yeah, it can be really scary when you're first thinking about it. But that's why I got you these rental skis. Oh. They're a great brand for, for beginners, and, and we're gonna go skiing on Saturday. Ooh, I, I don't know, Katie. I, I mean, I really don't know how to do this. I, I This is probably not for me. I promise you, it's actually gonna be really fun. We'll start off easy on, on the beginner slope. Um, so I'm gonna leave these with you. You just make sure that they fit, and I'll pick you up 6 a.m. on Saturday, okay? Uh, okay? All right, I'll see you then. It's gonna be great. Well, maybe I can. Maybe I can figure this out. You know, you know what? Why don't we do this? Let me let me look this up online. I feel like you can learn things all the time online. Let me just let me just pull up a video real quick, and we'll see if we can figure out how any of this works. <laughs> Way too intense. Listen up. Oh, it's God. Never too late to change. Whoa, okay, that might be a, a little too advanced. Let me you know what? Let me let me look up just like a beginner intro, like get into shape video. Let's let's see if we can find something that like gets you ready for skiing. Maybe, maybe we can do this thing together. Let's let, let's see if we can find something that'll get us in shape for skiing. Alright. I've got my skis on, I think that's how these go. And I found guys this like introductory training video. This guy seems kind of legit. It's different like workout exercises. So why don't why don't we do this? Let's actually do them all together and we're gonna see uh, we're gonna see if we can kind of figure this out. Let's do it together. <laughs> Okay, okay, this looks like a good thing. That's Hi, I'm Dr. Craig McLean, chiropractor to numerous winter Olympians. Okay, so subtle flex. He's got a British accent, probably means he knows how to ski. I think this is the guy we want. I think this is, I think this would be helpful and this is doable. Let's do it. Okay, side plank. Ooh, bulletproof the core. That's, that sounds intense. All right, let's see, let's see if we can do it. Okay, first, oh, this looks, oh, oh this looks pretty tough with skis on, but I'm sure this will, oh, oh. Help. Okay. All right. Let's try. Maybe we'll try that one. Maybe we'll try that one. Okay. That feels. That feels a little easier. Easier to do. It would be a lot easier if I didn't have these skis on. Oh. 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 Uh oh. That's all right. All right. Let's try the next one. Let's try the next one. We'll be okay. All right. Squats. All right. Here we go. Yeah. It's just like I'm skiing now. Yeah, okay, okay, nope, nope. Okay, got it, so got it. There we go. All right, lunges. Let's see if I can get this back on. Oh, forget it. Lunge. Lunge. No. Oh, it turns out, I think this would be easier if I didn't have the skis on, but I'm, I'm sure the skis help, right? It's gotta be. Uh, oh, oh. Okay, okay. That's hard. All right, one more. One more. Ooh. Squat. And hop. And hop. Oh. Guys, this is exhausting. I'm getting super tired. You know what? How about this? I feel like maybe I learned a little bit there, got a little bit more of the skiing vibe, but why not, how about this? Let's get our minds ready, let's get our spirits ready. Let's worship a little bit. If I'm gonna, if I'm gonna go down a ski mountain, I'm gonna need God with me for sure. So let's worship together and then maybe we'll try this out. When waves roar in front of me, so high that I can't see you, I don't have to be afraid.
When waves roar in front of me So high that I can't see you I don't have to be afraid When your voice is calling me To deep seas I've never traveled I don't have to be afraid I know your promises are true Promises are true I believe you Give me faith in everything I do You light my way Come on, let's go on a journey Sailing the ocean of God's great love Come on, let's go on a journey the Lord with all my heart and he'll direct my path. Come on, let's go on a journey of God's great love. This is Apollos, Hello. who was a Jewish man and a great teacher of the early church after the days that Jesus was on earth. Apollos knew a lot about God and he taught others about Jesus. He only knew part of the story of Jesus though, so that was all he taught people. One day, he was in the Jewish synagogue in Ephesus, Whoa. and two people who knew Jesus' story well heard him preaching. Their names were Priscilla Hi. and Aquila. Hey After Apollos was finished preaching, hey, wait up. Priscilla and Aquila pulled him aside huh? and taught him more about God so he could understand even better. Oh, all right. Then Apollos went to teach at Achaia. Whoa. While he was there, he taught many people and they believed in Jesus. He also met with the Jewish people there. Well, hello, friends. And using the scriptures, he showed them that Jesus was the savior that they had been waiting for. Hey all, I don't know if you noticed this, but it seemed like Chris was a little bit nervous to try skiing. He's never actually done it before, and it can be really scary to try something like that. To be up on the slopes and, and to see all the snow and to not know what you're doing and to be moving fast and to not know how to stop. There's a lot of unknown things there, and there's actually some level of risk associated with skiing. So totally natural, totally normal for him to feel a little bit nervous. And I don't know about you all, but I've been in a similar situation before where I felt nervous to do something something and I want to tell you a little bit about one of those things so if you don't know me then you might not know this but I am actually an emergency medical technician and EMT which means that I get to ride around on ambulances I go in and I respond to emergency situations and try to help people who are in need and, and when I was first learning how to do this I spent a lot of time studying all of the, the books about medicine learning different kinds of
of diseases, learning what to do when people got in car accidents or um, when they broke their arms or got, um, got hurt or sick and how to help people with all of these different things going on. And, um, and, and I, start, I wanted to be prepared for any situation that I could come across. But at some point, I just had to jump in. I had to actually get on the ambulance and go and see patients and see what was going on and what they were experiencing. And it was scary because I didn't know what I was going to find. I didn't know if I would be 100% prepared to handle things, um, but, I, but I didn't have to. And that's, that's the beauty of it. Sometimes you can actually just jump into something that you've never done before and you might not feel fully prepared for, um, but, you, but you take that, that risk and you jump in and that is how you learn and how you grow. You see, in the story that we just read, we, we meet this character named Apollos. Now, Apollos, he, he had heard about Jesus. He heard about God and he was really excited about it. And he didn't, he wasn't an expert. He didn't know everything that there was to know about him, but he, he was so excited about, about hearing about Jesus that he just went and he started talking to all the people, sharing his story and teaching about him. And, and that's what we want to encourage you all to try as well. Um, maybe, maybe you are scared to try something like, like helping your, your parents out. Maybe you think you're too young to help them with something, or maybe you want to play a sport or try an activity, but you feel like you're not good enough. Like you don't have it all together. You don't have all the answers. Um, so you, you, so you're too scared to try. Well, you know what? Sometimes, sometimes it's actually okay to be scared and to jump in anyways. It's okay to not be an expert in something and to jump in and just learn as you go. That's sometimes the best way to learn. Like it was for me as an EMT. I can't prepare myself for everything out there. Sometimes I just have to show up. And you know what? When, when I don't choose to show up, then people will actually get hurt. They might not get healed. And so, and so it's actually sometimes better to just take that risk. So that's what I want to do with Chris as he's learning how to ski. I want to encourage him to just get on the slopes. So let's go and check out how he's doing. Not really sure what he's doing, but it looks like he's maybe getting ready to go ski. Hey, Chris. Whoa, 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 Chris, what are you doing? Well, I, I, I watched a couple of videos, and I think I think you're right. You know, I can I can do this. I'm excited. I, I'm gonna send it. I'm gonna be Chris, ready to ski. Is, this is not the spot to try this. This is not not a safe environment. You, you know what? Good point, Kate. You're right. Safety first. Now I'm ready. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Are you uh -oh. okay? Well, my legs are still on. I think I'm all right. But that didn't look like it did in the video. No, you know what? That's because this is not real snow. You can't just try to do something in a completely different way. If you want to do something, sometimes you just have to jump right in huh. and try it. Well, hey guys, I am super excited to go skiing, but I am really thankful that Katie gave me some tips there. I think uh, that was as helpful as that workout video was for maybe getting the basics. I don't, I don't think I've got it all figured out yet. And honestly, I don't know if I'm gonna get it all figured out until we actually can hit the snow. I'm so glad that Katie's gonna be there to help kind of coach me through it. And I don't know about you guys, but I don't, I don't always, when, when somebody comes up and corrects me on something I'm doing wrong, a lot of times I can make a mistake and I can, and I can actually take it as if they're criticizing me or saying that I'm not good enough or, or saying I'm bad at something and I get really, really defensive. Has anyone ever tried to correct you on something and, and you got defensive about it or you know didn't, didn't like being told what you weren't doing well? I think it's so important that we see there is a difference between uh, correction and criticism. Criticism is where somebody you know insults you or doesn't think you're good enough at something, but correction is just somebody making you better. And I, and I think we wanna be people that are always open to correction, always people that are learning. There's always more to learn, whether it's skiing or whether it's anything. That's, you know, I was, I was watching that video that, that we all saw about Apollos, and what I love about that is like Katie talked to us about, you know, he may not have known everything, he may not have been an expert, but he could still get started, that's awesome. But when Priscilla and Aquila showed up, they, they corrected him, they actually helped him understand more. And he didn't get defensive about that, he didn't see that them saying, you know, you're doing it wrong or you shouldn't be doing this, not at all. They were just making him even better at what he was already doing, of helping people of explaining what God is like and, and what he does and who he's like. And because he received their correction, he was actually able to help way more people. He was actually able to have influence far wider because he had gotten better because he was open to correction. 
Guys, I, 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 when I hit the slopes, I wanna get better. I wanna be like those first videos we saw, those people dropping in, and I know that's gonna take some work and that's gonna take some time, but I think if I've got a good teacher there correcting along the way, helping making us better, then, then, then it might be something that I can do. And for you, I want you to think about what are the things that you, that you want to do, the things that maybe you're trying to do, the things that you've attempted doing before, and, and are you open to correction? Has, has someone come and tried to help you get better at it, and when they do, what was your response to that? Did, were, you, were you happy for it? And then maybe here's an even other one. Have you ever sought out someone who's really good at whatever it is you want to do? Have you ever sought out someone who acts the way you want to act and asked them to help you, asked them honestly to coach you or to mentor you or to, to help you get better? That's what correcting is. That's what it's, 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 it's all improving ourselves. It's all getting better. We want to be people that are always learning. God is someone that looks at us and, and wants to make our lives better all the time, but we got to be open to learn. We got to be open to learn from him and from others. So I hope you guys will try whatever it is that, that you're excited about, whatever passions you have or, or, or risks you might want to take, try them out. Don't wait to be the best at it, but man, get yourself open to correction. Get yourself someone that can teach you along the way. Uh, one, of, one of my favorite things, you know, if you guys have been around for a while, I, I used to be really, really self-conscious about dancing. Uh, and then I got, some, I got some help a few weeks ago, you can check it out online, where, where I, was, I was shown, corrected, maybe a little some of my mistakes, and now dancing is so fun for me. I love getting to dance in our worship songs. We've got a song we played a couple weeks ago for you guys that we want you to hear. Um, it's, it's, it's one of my favorites. Let's stand up, let's dance together. Then after that, I got a couple couple discussion questions you guys can bat around with your family, with your siblings, or even just with yourself. And I hope you guys will join us here next week on Ascend Online. We'll see you guys. Who breaks the power of sin and darkness? Whose love is mighty and so much stronger? The King of glory, the King above all kings.
What is something you've always wanted to do but held off doing because you're not sure you'll be good at it? What are you scared might happen? Who is someone in your life that corrects you? When you receive correction, do you get defensive or are you open to it? Who is someone this week that you could ask for help to get better at something you want to get better at?